All right, so in today's video, I want to give you this awesome quick tip about drawing eyes and it helped me out so much. So basically, I discovered this technique a few years ago. I can't really mem remember where I found it, but it just suddenly made drawing eyes as easy as never before. So I just wanted to share this with you and I'm super excited to be doing this video. So just follow along and let me know at the end of the video if this helped you in any way or not. So let's start with the anatomy part. Um, this is just a basic introduction. I'm not going to go into any specifics or details, just the basic anatomy of an eye. So the white part, this right here, and you can also see it here. And on this eye, it's this part. And over here, it's this. So the white part is called the sclera. And you don't have to remember all these names but I just write them down for, for this tutorial. So the next part we have um, is the iris. It's the round part right here. So this is the iris. Um, next up we have the caruncle. Um, it's a bit of a silly name, but it's down here. It's basically the, the teardrop area. So this is the caruncle. And we have the epicanthic fold, which is up here. It's super important to know this part. Um, I believe it's called the epicanthic fold, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's called the epicanthic crease. I have no idea. What we're focusing on the most in, in this tutorial is the white part because we're basically only going to draw the white part at first. And this is the trick. So the problem is when we're drawing eyes, we tell our brains that we're about to draw an eye. And once we do that, our brain jumps in and it starts to make it more complex than it has to be. So it starts confusing us. And so we have to trick it into not thinking that we're drawing an eye. And we do that by breaking up the eye into these abstract shapes. And the best way for me to do that is to just think of drawing the white shape. And if you do that correctly, you basically have drawn an eye without even thinking that you're drawing an eye. So let me show you what I mean. What I would do in this case is instead of telling my brain we're about to draw an eye and I start with the shape and everything. What I do is I only draw the white shapes. And it's pretty easy, I believe a five-year-old could do this. You just draw the shape. You try to get it as close as possible to the original shape. And it's basically just these three curves here and then over here there's this small part visible and you have basically drawn an eye, believe it or not, it's this simple. All you have to do now that is left for you to do is to connect the dots up here. So we have to draw this part, this part down here, and then of course the epicanthic fold and the caruncle, the teardrop area, and that's it. You can add some eyelashes to make it more realistic, but basically this is all that's needed to draw an eye. So let me show you. So what I do next is I just connect this part, I connect this lower part, I draw the caruncle and the epicanthic fold, which goes up here, goes around the eyeball. And that's it, you can add a small, like a small crease down here and add some eyelashes. And that's basically it. This is the probably to me the easiest way of drawing an eye and you can always go back in there and clean it up if you believe that you could do a little bit better and get it a little bit closer to the original reference you can go back in there and and clean it up but basically this is all that's needed to draw an eye and so by only thinking of the white shape of the eye it becomes so much easier so only remember to always focus on the white part, it's called the sclera. You don't have to remember the name, but just take like a bunch of references and, and give this method a try and see if it works for you and if it makes it easier for you to draw eyes. So for the next eye, we're doing exactly the same. I'm drawing the left shape, the left white shape, like this, connects down here. And then the other side comes down like this and it connects. And all we have to do now is connect the upper part, connect the lower part, drawing the caruncle, the teardrop area, um, the epicanthic fold, which drops down here. It's pretty pronounced in this reference. And uh, maybe some shading down here and that's it. 
and of course you can go back in there add some eyelashes but generally this is how I would draw an eye it, it's pretty easy pretty pretty basic to, to do and, and next up is I believe this is an Asian person Asian people can be somewhat difficult to draw so it takes some practice to get Asian eyes correct but again with this technique it, it just becomes super easy so we first draw in the iris so around the iris and then we just draw the white shape comes up over here connects like this and the caracal just like this connect the upper part draw in some eyelashes and now with this eye, because she has a pretty dark iris, you can basically just make it black and add a basic highlight. And that's it. I forgot the epicanthic fold up here. Draw this in. Um, perhaps a rough indication of her eyebrow. See if it works for you. This is really easy to, to, to test out because it doesn't take a whole lot of time. As you saw, it just took me like a minute for each eye and um, it was really quick to do really easy relaxing it, it, it didn't stress me out at all and I believe this could really work for a lot of you people out there and when I first discovered this technique I was really blown away by it so at first I thought it's just like a silly gimmick but the more I actually like really gave it a chance the more I I learned to to love it so yeah Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please hit that subscribe button that would be really awesome and so as always guys i hope to see you in my next video and i love you with all my fart and soul peace